2026 could be setting up the perfect opportunity for the MCU's fifth Hulk, possibly leading to The Incredible Hulk 2 or World War Hulk. It might even merge the two into something like The Incredible Hulk World War. According to reports, the casting for the fifth Hulk is already done. We'll get into that soon, but for now, the big question is, where will we see this new Hulk? Before diving into the details on where he can show up, let's talk about the cast for the fifth Hulk. Rumor has it that a Ghostbusters star has been cast as the new Hulk in the MCU. This actor, known for their roles in Ghostbusters Afterlife and Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, will be the first to portray Bruce Banner's successor, Amadeus Cho. Logan Kim, known for his role in the 2023 AMC drama The Walking Dead Dead City, is set to play Amadeus Cho, a 19-year-old genius who can transform into the Hulk at will, according to reports from Daniel RPK. Some believe we might see him in Avengers Doomsday in 2026. However, that film is likely to be packed with heroes, so there might not be enough time to properly introduce a new character like Cho. That's why I think Vision Quest would be the perfect place for us to get to know him before then. When Vision Quest premieres in 2026, it could be the perfect spot for the MCU to introduce the fifth version of the Hulk. Vision, first introduced as a powerful creation in Avengers Age of Ultron, also housed the Mind Stone. While his current status in the MCU has been unclear since WandaVision, the upcoming Vision Quest series on Disney Plus is expected to shed some light on his fate. One major recent update about the show is the confirmed return of James Spader as Ultron, even though the villain appeared to be defeated in Age of Ultron. Spader's return in Vision Quest suggests Marvel has a compelling story to tell, likely involving Vision confronting his creator Ultron. However, Ultron didn't create Vision on his own, he hypnotized Dr. Helen Cho to assist. Helen was last seen working at the Avengers compound and hasn't had a reason to return to the MCU since. But with Ultron's reappearance in Vision Quest, there's finally a chance to bring her back. Not only did she help co-create Vision, but Helen could also play a key role in introducing the MCU's fifth Hulk. In the comics, Helen Cho had a son named Amadeus Cho, a child prodigy recognized for his genius early on. This made him a target, and in an attempt to eliminate him, his parents were killed, leaving Amadeus to navigate life on his own. During his journey, he crossed paths with Bruce Banner, and the two bonded over being cursed geniuses in one comic storyline. Bruce's Hulk was overloaded with dangerous levels of radiation, and Amadeus stepped in to help, absorbing some of Hulk's powers to save him. After gaining Hulk-like abilities, Amadeus Cho took on the name Braun. Like Bruce Banner, he had the classic Hulk dual persona, but eventually learned to control it. If Helen Cho returns to Vision Quest, the show could subtly pave the way for Amadeus' future in the MCU, as he's a young character with a lot of potential. He doesn't need to be directly shown or mentioned in Vision Quest, that might not fit the storyline, but even a small reference to Helen's family or children could be enough to confirm that Amadeus exists in the MCU. Braun would be a great fit for the MCU right now, especially as part of the new generation of heroes. Even though Bruce Banner has stepped back since Avengers Endgame, the Hulks are making a comeback. Braun would become the MCU's fifth Hulk, following Bruce, Jennifer Walter She-Hulk, Scar, and the upcoming Red Hulk with Thaddeus Ross. With all these Hulks in the mix, Braun's addition would increase the chances for some epic Hulk action sequences. Plus, introducing Amadeus could make it easier to bring Bruce back into the spotlight when the time is right. The MCU could also bring Braun into the Young Avengers. A lineup of young heroes has slowly been forming during the multiverse saga, and the Marvels confirmed that Kamala Khan is already working on assembling a team. Braun would be a great fit, thanks to his combination of intelligence, powers, and connection to an original Avenger. If Scar ends up joining the Young Avengers too, having both versions of Hulk on the same team would create a fascinating dynamic between them. Braun could also be what the MCU needs to bring Bruce Banner's Hulk back to his original rage-filled form. Amadeus earned his hero name thanks to his brilliant mind, but with his Hulk powers, he now offers both brains and brawn. In the comics, a lot of his story revolves around balancing his human and Hulk sides 
which aligns with what the MCU has been doing with Smart Hulk. With plenty of reasons for Bruce to return to his classic Hulk persona, introducing Amadeus would reinforce the case for reverting him to that original, uncontrollable rage form. Smart Hulk has had his run, and many fans are eager to see the original Hulk return. If Marvel is hesitant to revert Bruce because they want him to represent a certain archetype, introducing Braun as the new Smart Hulk could allow the MCU to restore Bruce's character to his original form. Of course, this hinges on whether Helen Cho comes back to the MCU, but Vision Quest would be the ideal place to do that. It gives Marvel a perfect opportunity to bring back Vision's creator while also setting up the next generation of Hulk and World War Hulk. The storyline takes place when the Illuminati, made up of Black Bolt, Tony Stark, Doctor Strange and Reed Richards, banish the Hulk from Earth. The ship they sent him off in blew up, killing his pregnant wife. Fueled by rage and now even more powerful from soaking up radiation from planet Sakaar, Hulk comes back to Earth looking for revenge, along with his crew the Warbound. Heroim, Korg, Elo Kafi, Meek, no name of the brood, Arch E5912, and Mung. First, he stops on the moon and takes down Inhuman King Black Bolt. Then he heads to Manhattan and demands to see the Illuminati. He even visits the X-Men's place, where Professor X, who wasn't part of the decision to send Hulk away, admits he would have agreed to it but didn't support a permanent exile. Hulk battles a few X-Men teams and fights the Juggernaut, but leaves after hearing about the M-Day incident, thinking Xavier has been through enough. Back in Manhattan, Hulk goes up against Gamma Corps and Ghost Rider, defeating Iron Man and wrecking Stark Tower in the process. Hulk and the Warbound take down the new Avengers, the Mighty Avengers, Doc Samson and the Fantastic Four, including Black Panther and Storm. He puts obedience discs on the captured superheroes to stop them from using their powers. After a quick fight with Hercules, Amadeus Cho, Namora and Angel, Hulk defeats General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross and the US Army. He also faces off against Doctor Strange, who has merged with Zorn, a powerful enemy, but Hulk wins that battle too. While imprisoned, Tony Stark contacts S.H.I.E.L.D. and reveals a plan to destroy Manhattan by sending it to the Negative Zone if the heroes can't stop Hulk. Hulk and the Warbound turn Madison Square Garden into a gladiator arena. After surviving an assassination attempt from Scorpion, Hulk organizes a showdown where Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Black Bolt and Mr. Fantastic battle a tentacled alien and then each other, insisting his aim is justice, not murder, while planning to destroy New York. Sentry arrives and fights Hulk, causing massive destruction until they revert to their human forms, Robert Reynolds and Bruce Banner, when Reynolds passes out. Meek attacks Banner out of anger for Hulk's disappearance, and Rick Jones gets injured while trying to protect him, prompting Banner to turn back into Hulk. Meek reveals the explosion that started this conflict was caused by Red King loyalists, not the Illuminati. Hulk, consumed by rage, radiates energy that threatens Earth, leading Stark to activate satellites that knock Hulk out, leaving him as Bruce Banner. S.H.I.E.L.D. subsequently locks Banner up three miles underground, while the other Warbound members are taken into military custody. Hulk spares Namor, realizing he was the only Illuminati member who opposed Hulk's banishment and foresaw his return for revenge. This could be a fantastic storyline for the next Hulk movie, especially since many of the characters are already established in the MCU. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for regular updates on the latest news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.